sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, got a little engine here I want to show you. Uh, this is a three horsepower Briggs and Stratton side shaft. Came off of a pump, which was a diaphragm pump, or some people call them mud pumps. You can see it's got a gear on it instead of a shaft, but I had to put this cover back on it because the seal was in it and it would leak oil without, so I just got a couple bolts in it. But basically, that's no different than any, you know, regular. Uh, shaft set up uh, you can see like a little oil coming out of the out around the plug there might be an oil burner but uh not a not a bad little engine uh gas tank is uh shot on it it's full of rust and pieces and such and actually here's some that some of the stuff that came out of it uh not quite sure carboned up but uh looks like a normal engine but uh, this engine's a little bit special uh, i'm going to show you a few things on this and if you see i got this bolted down to a board uh board sitting on the concrete and uh i'm gonna slide back here and pick this board up and as you can see there's nothing under the board no holes in the concrete, of course, and uh, you'll know why I'm why I'm showing you that here in a few minutes. But I'm going to get this camera set up, and uh, we're going to start it up for you, and then we're going to uh, shut it down, and then I'm going to do a couple things and start it up again, and uh, you see what you think of it. Okay, folks, I'm going to start this engine up for you, and. Uh, let you see it run and I'll shut it down and then I'm going to do a couple little things to it and we'll fire it up again. Okay, as you can see it runs pretty good. Runs fair to be an old three horse. Uh, we're going to do a couple things here. One thing we're going to take this carburetor off. You know, a whole bunch of people on YouTube building stuff and worrying about the carburetors. Old Musty with his bikes. Uh, you know, around here, if you make an engine run real efficient, you don't even really need a carburetor. So, we're going to take this one off and uh, we'll just throw it to the side here. There ain't no gas in it anyway, I don't reckon. But uh, we can't afford gas around here. And uh, I suppose we'll just take the spark plug wire off too. We really don't need it. She did light me up there once, but uh, they run pretty good without all that stuff. Uh, Ain't no need for it. If, uh, if you want to see how this was done, I did, I did do some build videos on this. And uh, a lot more work involved in it than what you would think. Uh, a lot of work just to be a couple minutes of running time. But, uh, or a video. But, uh runs pretty good pretty good old engine and I'm going to uh, I'm going to maybe post that stuff I don't know I hadn't decided yet you can let me know if you want to see see how this is done or not you know it's not magic it's mechanical not magical uh, and there's actually a couple other tricks you can do to these things but uh, just wanted to let you all see this
Okay, I wanted to give you a couple little clues on this engine here. There's only one spark plug, and that is this one. And there's only one carb plug, and that was the one I took off. So, I'll let you all figure it out. Bye.